Hey everyone! So, we're at the library, North Riverside. My name is Anne Marie, so I work in adult services, as you know. So, today we're going to be working on making the crate. As you see, I did kind of like a decor thing on top. Next time on top to Tuesday, we'll be doing something a different style with the pumpkins. Kind of like mapping them to our own taste. But this, this time to Tuesday, we're going to be kind of doing something with the crate or any type of crate that you have. In this, in this case, I did not use what we'll be using today. This was spray paint. You could use crayon or however, but the main thing that you do with a lot of the um, crates. If you really want them to catch the color that you're using, whether spray paint or wax, you will have to use this Craftsmart. You, you can use any brand, but this is the brand I use and it's inexpensive. And you will have to use, this is premium chalky acrylic paint. The chalky helps the wax stay on like actually grab on. You could try to use the wax already on the crates. In this case, this is a sample of how this crate used to look. As you can see, there are still some white patches. That's, that's from the chalky white paint. So this is from the wax I use. So I use two waxes. The main wax that I was using is by craft smart this one is this color so it has to say like wax is multi-surface so you can use it on practically anything to give it like that antique look and i think yeah so this is the one i use and this one is antique wax and then this one is premium barwood wax you could just use this one and i'll show you a couple examples with the wax um as you can see this is one sample another one and this has nothing to do with crates but it shows both waxes this is just like a piece that i was gonna make and do like writing and make it look more like vintagey and the barnwood wax is this color doesn't matter whether it comes out patchy or not, it's to your taste. In this section, you can see that there's a mix. So basically, I did like one coat of like the antique wax, and then I mixed the barnwood wax and the antique wax, and I created it like this faded kind of look, like how it kind of looks like it's just like wood, but it's really not. So I'm going to be showing a bit of like painting and what you'll be needing obviously you need a canvas like tarp I use four brushes to get into creases this is to save me time if you don't have like a big brush like this or even bigger then that's fine you can use whatever like brushes you have it would just take longer so this is the crate we'll be working on and this one I needed it big enough for what we're going to be doing next time to Tuesday. So, as you can tell, I didn't do it perfect. I didn't paint it perfect. There were some creases that I couldn't really get into. Like, I don't know if you can see it right here in these areas. But that's fine. You don't have to get it perfect because we want that vintage look. We just want it to look like antique in this case. Especially if it's like fall decor. That's what you would definitely want. And so, since these are pretty much full, I'll be using these wax, the antique wax, and the brown wood wax, just to give you kind of like an idea. 
So I'll be starting on one side. And we'll be doing this side then. Probably most people would think it's kind of hard. And so you could have a spot where you kind of already put. You could put it on the tarp, the paint, or, or the wax to be more precise. I don't know if you can see it. So that's the wax. I'm going to take off a bit more. Because I don't want too much on it. Because I want to be able to like not completely coat it. Just like kind of like brush like that. As you see, like I'm kind of going messy about it. But that's the point. You don't want it to look like 100%. And I don't mind dipping into both paints with the same brush. But I'll probably be using this wider one for the barn wood. And I'm not trying to make it perfect. Now with the barn wood. Keep in mind, I don't go for the same style. It's how I would like it to come out. And then if you don't like how light is coming out or a certain or a certain part of it is like too much light, then you just grab a bit more of the antique. I do this because it gives it like a nice effect. And with the same brush that has more of the antique, I blend it out. You could go more with the barn wood first and then use more of the antique wax but I go more with the antique wax. Because since in my house, everything's like this color. <laughs> so I don't want this to blend into the walls. So that's why I'm going with the darker coat. Mm -hmm. And let's go this other way because that's the bottom. I wanna do this side. You know, if you have a hard time getting, if you're that type of person that needs to get into the notch, then you're going to have to use the smaller brushes. So, just going to go into it. You could be messy with this. There's really, I'm using a thinner brush just so I can grab the part where the wax kind of just like fell through and put it on those edge parts. Now, I'm gonna just leave it there. Now with this brush, I'm just gonna Kind of spread it out. Keep in mind, like at first, you're gonna be like, oh, it looks kind of like clump, like there's clumpy, but that's okay because eventually you're gonna have to mill it out. Like these parts that you see that's like watering down, you want to try to grab it with the brush at that moment because what the wax does, it, it's not a hard like, like paint part. It's just like very gooey and especially if it's like all clumped up like that. Okay. And now with this brush, and I'm going to put a bit more of the anti-wax. Just so I can melt it out. And then the parts are like seeping into that whole piece. We're not gonna finish this crate in this video, but as I showed you, and the good thing about wax is you 
could kind of go back even once it dries. And since I, this one could kind of fit, I'm just gonna, gonna cross it like that. So if you want to do kind of similar to this one, don't let this dry completely. And then you're going to put a lot of the antique and barnwood wax. So I'm going to do that for you. I'm going to put a lot. And I'm just going to show you how it would look. And then I'm going to use a smaller brush, same one we were using for the antique because I don't want to put too much of the dark color with the big brush. And now with this same brush, I'm going to go Okay, you see it's going a little too light. I'm gonna have to add more of the antique wax. As I'm seeing, is going so once it dries a little bit more, then you're still going to keep with the brush kind of like mixing, moving the darker part. However, way. That's if you wanted to do that effect that I did over there, except a lighter color. Or you could do it dark, but if you do it dark, put very, very little of the barnwood. A lot of it is playing into like what you like. I personally don't want this, so I'm just going to completely melt it out. And then I'm going to put the axis onto the canvas. It still creates a good effect. So, since that's not what I'm going for, I'm just going to keep it like simple. I'm trying to put my brush in there just to get that center. Okay, so that is it. I don't know if you can tell. I'm kind of where I touched it right now. And then with the same brush, I'm just going to melt it out. And that's the good thing about doing chalky paint underneath. Is that even when you take off the wax, it doesn't take off the paint on the bottom. Because acrylic, if it's just acrylic, it comes off. I don't know why. So, there you go. And then you just continue.